Uh, colleagues from the media, uh, through you, allow me the opportunity to share my current thoughts with fellow Zambians on the current governance situation in the country. But before I proceed further, I know a lot of things are happening and I wish to express my uh, anxiety over what's been reported to be a tragic in Chingola. You may have heard that, I don't know, I don't know we, don't, we don't have the facts yet. I don't know whether it's a Kevin or some people may have lost lives and I think he, my heart and those of our hearts here who have heard of this tragedy without getting all the details know that it's a tragedy and our hearts go out to the families of those who may have lost lives. But we'll get the details as we go on. Uh, you may recall that on Saturday, 28th October 2023, as we gathered to remember and celebrate the life of Zambia's fifth president, Mr. Michael Chirufia Sata, our founding president of the Patriotic Front, I announced my return to active politics. I did this with a very heavy heart because it was never my intention to return to active politics after leaving State House in August 2021. I also prayerfully and solemnly chose to make this announcement on that day when we commemorated President Sata's death for the ninth time as a way to commit to my strong desire and determination to ensure that the PF outlives Mr. Sata and indeed all of us. Uh, this was from the backdrop of the machinations by those in government to systematically steal, kill, and destroy the PF in order to secure their continued stay in power. These machinations became more manifest a few days leading to the October 28th when we saw those in power desperately and disgracefully attempting to stage a coup in PF using their studios. This was in a sacred day of independence, October 24th, when the state superintended over not only an illegitimate gathering, but also an illegal one. And this action alone threatened peace and stability of both the party and the nation at large. This illegality has been endorsed by the police against their lawful mandate of keeping law and order, followed by the hopeless attempts by the National Assembly to give effect to the illegality. The assault on our democracy is becoming much more vivid when the victim, who in this case is the Patriotic Front Party, is being treated as a villain and the state-sponsored sect is being accorded the protection of the law, which ordinarily is only due to the victim. Unfortunately for those in power, it is not possible to subvert the collective wisdom and desire and will of the people in an attempt to choke our democracy using imingalato. Colleagues from the media, this is the brief background which forced me out of my political retirement. As I announced my political comeback, I said that this year's memorial for President Sata had been preceded, preceded by ugly scenes calculated to kill democracy by killing the PF. In this regard, I made a clarion call to all opposition political party leaders <coughs> to join hands with us in PF in defense of Zambia's hard-end democracy. I called for unity of purpose. I'm delighted to report today that I'm exceedingly humbled 
by the unanimous positive response from my brothers and sisters in the opposition to my call. This is how it should be. And I'm confident that working together, we shall conquer mm. and overcome in defense of the Constitution and democracy. Victory is certain. We shall definitely defeat those <coughs> who are scheming against our democracy because power rests with the people. And the people will fight. And the people will win. The people will defend their democracy. I said it in October on the 28th, and I'm saying it again today. This is not about one Edgar Chagualung. I'm doing this in defense of democracy. And our, def our democracy is multi-party democracy. Yeah. A democracy where the opposition and civil society can freely associate and express themselves. A democracy where anyone among the opposition leaders can become president and certainly will become president in 2026. Yeah. In this resolve, we are encouraged and motivated by our exemplary forefathers who sacrificed their all as they fought precisely about 1745, long after waking hours, we are told. And in defiance of a court process, this government, the UPND government, changed names of the legitimate PF office bearers and replaced them with the legitimate list of their students. What a shame. Mm. I'm aware that our party members and supporters across the country and beyond are concerned and worried at this development. I want, therefore, to urge you all, our members, and indeed the nation at large, to remain calm but said fast and vigilant as we navigate the troubled waters. Victory, victory is certain. We shall fight this battle using all the available means, legal, political, and civil options. Yeah. I must emphasize that we shall fight this battle yeah. using all the available means, legal, political, and civil. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond that, I don't know. Because if you can't fight <laughs> using <laughs> legal means, you can't fight using political means, you can't fight civil options, using civil options because they can't allow it, uh, then God help us. <clears throat> I came back to active politics specifically to save the patriotic front from being stolen or killed by the government in power. So on that one, count me in. Together, we shall fight and protect the patriotic front from being killed or stolen. I said it before, that as I return to active politics, I'm ready, I must emphasize, I'm ready for anything, including risking my own life at the hands of these desperate people who are now aware that they've lost, completely lost public support and confidence due to their many unfulfilled promises. I'm also aware that the next move is to lift my immunity from prosecution. This too does not worry me because I know that it's another of their ploy to divert the public attention from their failures and the ever rising cost of living amongst our people. Mm. So I'm ready. Even if they manipulate parliament and get the numbers that they require to remove my immunity, I'm ready. I said it a year after having lost power that why are they wasting time? If it's me that looking for, they shouldn't bother my children or my wife or any of my associates. They just come for me straight. But two years and some months down the line, they have not come through. But I know they're still working on it. But when it comes, don't be shaken, don't be worried, I'm ready. Let it be known that this administration's plan is to kill Zambia's hard-end multi-party democracy and install a one-party dictatorship. And this is real. So what you are seeing in terms of Mingalato will not end with the PF at all. No one will be spared. And no one out there should be cheated 
that they will be spared. It has been so with the Hari Kalabas Democratic Party. They have since followed him to Citizens First Party. In Savoy Imbo, it has National Democratic Congress, NDC. State sponsors, two J's are frantically trying to wrestle power from her. We know this. No wonder they can proudly declare that they will remain in office for over 50 years because there will be no democracy to check them and stop their excesses. But we are not going to allow that. They have continued with abuse arrests and abduction of those in opposition. Leaders are often detained in secret locations for longer periods than the law provides. This is despite the president assuring the nation that no one will be locked beyond a stipulated period. I don't know whether they've released it, Thomas. Have they? No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. This is happening. They keep making assurances and they act to the contrary. So these are people, if they say yes, take it that they mean no. If they say no, take it that they mean yes. If you want to advise them and you want them to go north, tell them to go south and they'll go north. They act almost all the time contrary to what they tell the nation. Sean Tembo, for example, leader of the Patriot, Patriots for Economic Progress, has been law, unlawfully detained and abducted several times. Several times. Hari Kalaba was detained for merely, merely eating shima at the market. And today someone will say PF was worse, it was like hell. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Boma Lusambo was recently arrested because the people who love him thronged him when he was passing through Kawa and stopped over to buy a meat pie. Was it a pie meat? <laughs> I knew it as a pie meat. You know. uh, it was an offense for him to just simply meet, stop over, and greet people who wanted to chat with him. How ridiculous is this rule of law? How ridiculous is the utterance is coming from the leader of the UPND when he says, I believe in rule of law? Other opposition leaders, Sharakateka, Kasonde Mwenda were detained for exercising their freedoms of assembly and expression. Fred Mende cannot be left out of the list. He has been arrested several times on flimsy charges. KBF, Mr. Kelvin Fugebuali, has also been spared, just like Savoy, Imboil, and Chutatayari. The list goes on and on. As for the Patriotic Front, several, several of our members here and outside have been arrested several times. And only a few days ago, the party vice president, Honorable Given Lubinda, Secretary General Rafael Nakachinda, and the party spokesperson, Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, were arrested and detained in custody. As I speak today, unfortunately, all institutions of governance are heavily compromised. And I say so without fear or favor. All institutions of governance are heavily compromised. I don't want to talk about the police because you know they are compromised. I don't want you to talk about the Registrar of Societies because that's a matter which is sub -judice. They are compromised. I don't want to talk about the judiciary, the legislature. But you can name them. All of them are compromised. It's a question of degree, but they are compromised. And for the first time, for the first time, the three arms of government, the legislature, the judiciary, and the executive, are strangely enjoying a meeting of minds, even in the face of mischief and illegality. One illegality coming from the executive will be supported by the, 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 the judiciary and supported by the legislature. When, in fact, you expect through checks and balances that these will check each other and say, excuse me, you've gone too far, you've gone overboard. But for the first time, the three arms of government are strangely enjoying a meeting of minds, even in, on areas of mischief, stealing political battle like CFO openly, starting with the 
Independence Day, a retreat, turning it into a convention. The next thing you hear is the police are there protecting uh, the, the, the occasion. And the next thing you hear is the registrar has been compelled to change the list of uh, members of the party. Before long, the courts are telling you this is a matter which uh, has been done and it's been done within the law. Even when you know that the law was breached. So I can confidently say that for the very, very first time, the three arms of government are being mischievous. And the, now it's up to us to take note that this blatant breach of the Constitution and Parliament concerns all of us. And at the same time, our judiciary is on trial to do justice and to be seen to be doing justice. Institutions that are charged with the responsibility to stop illegalities are the ones perpetrating <laughs> such vices. And we are saying that we we'll use civil options, legal options, political options. But if this continues, God help Zambia. What a shame. A beginner in law will tell you what's happening. A beginner in administration uh, law will tell you what's happening. A beginner in criminal law will tell you what's happening. A beginner in, uh, you know, simply administration, a student of administration at the National Institute of Public Administration will ask you what's happening because things are not what they're supposed to be in this land and we're all quiet. But I'm glad that some people are speaking like I've alluded to earlier. It therefore becomes extremely difficult for one to remain silent. And the, I have said the, I'm back. But when you hear us talk, we are talking about injustice in the manner that I've alluded to. And I want to assure you that the, I will not remain silent. My colleagues here will not remain silent. When in, injustice and the, the assault on democracy are being perpetrated by the very people who are supposed to be this fight within the law, then we'll fight it with what is available. What is available? There is a saying, when you're pushed against the wall, you fight back. And if only I live as PF for Zambians, as people who believe in democracy, we are saying that enough is enough of this mischief. Stop it, Mr. Haka in the Hitchlema, please. We know you're behind it. Mm. Viva democracy. Viva. Abash dictatorship. Abash. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you for that address. We have Honorable Kangombe, who will give a vote of thanks to your speech, Your Excellency. In a little a microphone for people from oh, social media. Kamfisa MP, Honorable <laughs> Kangombe will give a vote of thanks to the President's speech. He's also a member of the Central Committee and is also our National Youth Chairperson. Uh, you might have to give way for that camera. Honorable Kangombe. Thank you. Uh, You've heard what the President has said. Your Let's Excellency. Wakateka, Your Excellency, we are very grateful for the message. Allow me to recognize the presence of the entire party leadership of the Patriotic Front the original patriotic front, the only patriotic front. Yeah. 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 Your Excellency, I am sure you The words that you have spoken, Your Excellency, are the assuring words that the members of the patriotic front were looking for. In Misepela, from all the 116 districts, we are waiting for that voice of assurance, the voice that when we are called to battle, Your Excellency, we will stand with you. The call to battle that we will not allow the patriotic front to die. 
Ichichpani, Your Excellency, some of us, it's the only political party we've belonged to. And we have no intention of going to any other political party. And because of that resolution, Your Excellency, and I am very certain that those that are tuned in to this very, very important press briefing, all they wanted to hear is the voice of assurance. The voice of assurance that you are with us as we fight to retain the status of the Patriotic Front. The word that if justice cannot be provided by the courts of law, we will give ourselves justice. Yeah. I want to repeat. Our Akuma Funde Kukoting at about Pele justice, if they don't allow justice to prevail, we will give ourselves justice. Shire Lufiana Mukulanda. Because I'm aware that there are those who think that we cannot decide to protect our destiny as a country. Uh -huh. Democracy is what we chose in 1991. Exactly. How can the UPND begin electing leaders for ourselves? We are patriotic front. Article 60 of the Republican Constitution is very clear that it is the members of that political party who should decide who should be their leader. Right. Why should the UPND be electing leaders for the patriotic front? We will not allow it. And I want to say it again. If the courts of law do not give us justice, we will give ourselves justice. Yeah. Your Excellency, yeah. and I want to appeal to the members of the patriotic front. Chingola, Chilabombwe, Livingstone, Solwezi, wherever you are as a member of the Patriotic Front, we will fight for our democracy. We will not allow democracy to die simply because the UPND has underperformed. Abantuwa fidiru okubomba, kwa mbo kufuwa ilikisha. Nibani abantuwa lerumbula, because if chitike mchalo, your excellence. Abantuwa lerumbula Patriotic Front. Eku fumini obu wafi. Everyone is saying, ababa lipona abafi lokuteke chalo. That is why the UPND is panicking. And because the people have said they want the patriotic front, we suddenly have So, Excellency, we are grateful for your word of assurance. May God bless Zambia. May God bless our democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you.